Hi everyone, this is Carlos with the EMAC Science Support Team here with another tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at Pi Transit, which is this tool for fast and easy exoplanet transit light curve modeling in Python. You can click on the Jupyter Notebook button and that will take you to an interface like this. Here, the authors provide a series of example notebooks for us to learn how to use this tool. We are going to click on example underscore eclipse model and that will take you here. So in this notebook we are going to make a secondary eclipse model um, for some known transit light curves. So first thing we want to do is we will run this line, this percent pylab in line, and then we're going to get this system.path.append and as well as of course importing PyTransit along with the Eclipse model. So to begin, we will set a short cadence timestamps and long cadence timestamps like so. We are also going to define these parameters. And as you can see, I have written the definition for each one. So K is our star, ra our star planet radius ratio. T naught is the zero epoch. P is the orbital period. A is the semi-major axis, I is the orbital inclination, E eccentricity, and W being the argument of periastron. So we define these variables for tm.evaluate underscore ps, which will be our eclipse model for scalar parameters. Then these values right here, these parameters, we will use them for tm.evaluate, which will just evaluate a series of secondary eclipse models based on these parameters. So to get the eclipse model, it's super simple. You don't need to initialize any arguments, so you can just do tm is equal to eclipse model. Next thing we need to do is set up our data. And to do that, it's as simple as using this tm.setData module. And in here, you're going to put in times underscore sc. Because at its simplest, set underscore data takes the mid exposure times of the time series to be modeled. So time sc is this short cadence timestamps. Now that our data has been set up, we will continue to plotting our secondary eclipse models. Here, they give you a description of how the model is used. We're going to break it down to simplify it. So we're going to set up this definition. We're going to give it our figure and axes. And then here is the actual meat of the code. So what we do to find our flux, we can use tm.evaluate underscore ps. Give it these parameters, and that will be your flux. And then to actually plot this, we can use tm.time flux and then rfmt. So now we are plotting a transit light curve here, which we will define as individual parameters. Next thing we do, we want to plot all the samples for our secondary eclipse models. So to do that, we will set now set flux equal to tm.evaluate. Here are our parameters. We plot. And this is what our final results look like. So the transit center is where the actual transit ap appears. And here's our secondary eclipse. And then here are all of our sampled models. We can also do super sampling. And to do that, it's the same thing. We use tm.set underscore data. Now we give it our times, number of samples, and the exposure time. Plot it using plot underscore transits tm and here you are you can also use this for a heterogeneous time series meaning that there is more than one light curve in your data set to do that you will need to use set data in this way so what that means is here we're doing times up here it gives us an example of what our times would be we can concatenate times one and two because these are two different light curves. We'll put feed that there. And then we also have our LC IDs. These are our light curve IDs. 
Here we have two different like curve IDs, as here, times underscore one size, zero, times underscore two dot size one. So we're saying, we're essentially setting up this matrices. And then number of samples and our exposure times. Plot that, and here you are. So this is where the two transits meet, and these are all of our samples. So that is Pi Transit. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can comment below or follow us on Twitter at Exoplanet Models. Thanks. Peace.